Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the monthly final games versus Obey Alliance. This was the quarterfinals match, and let's just say we had one of the craziest comebacks we've ever had, so I really do hope you enjoy, but let's hop into it. But before we continue with the video, I wanted to thank the sponsor, Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal is a massive online role-playing game where you can team up with your friends or ride solo to complete the main storyline, dungeons, and so much more. Personally, I'm riding solo just because I love the challenge of beating a dungeon by myself, but that's up to you guys to decide. Diablo Immortal also has a ton of characters to choose from at the start of the game, so that way you can choose a character that best fits your playstyle. For me, I chose Demon Hunter because you guys know I love long range characters, but I also love the fact that I have so much mobility and can make some pretty crazy plays. This is Blizzard's largest Diablo game ever, and it's on mobile, guys, so you can pick up and play literally wherever, whether you're in the back of the car or if you're on a lobster boat, does not matter, you can play Diablo Immortal anywhere. So if you want to play, make sure you guys go in the description down below click my link download right now and i hope to see you on the battlefield thanks again diablo for sponsoring this video but let's get back all right so hopping into the first map on hot potato now the bands are going to be carl ruffs colette squeak daryl and carl again and carl you as you guys can probably tell has been one of those brawlers that's really dominant right now inside of the meta but here's how the draft's playing out so they first picked lola which is one of the best mids inside of this map for sure then we locked in rico super solid lane very very flexible and at this point we knew they kind of probably wanted to play tanks that is usually what this team likes to play so we locked in the m's mid here uh just to kind of help prevent that as well as m's mid is actually really really strong uh just with the bush you're able to kind of sneak up get so much value and m's does a lot of damage to the safe and after that they ended up locking in a barley and bb now bb was surprisingly really really good it's really good versus the likes of rico and also it's pretty good versus m's then they locked in the barley assuming that they're good enough versus tanks and so we were kind of put in a weird situation we had to basically pick tank slash damage so we locked in the primo we also have the wall break gadget so that way barley's kind of more in the open and we should be able to get barley down a little bit easier all right so hopping into the first game now basically we're gonna have a primo onto barley you can see we're already trying to break up the walls however something that was really smart from rc was running the gas sticky syrup gadget that makes it hard for primo to push up you'll see it's used right about now and uh it, it's obviously Obviously, it's the right choice, right? It's uh, it's a smart choice, and it makes Zulon have to wait a little bit longer because he has to get his super to be before before he can actually kill Barley. So as Livy gets a nice super onto Jigsaw, able to get that kill, and is pushing up already. So this is really good. We have control on the left. Zulon's getting pretty close to super. You kind of you can kind of see he's kind of suiciding for it, uh, but that's really what Primo's supposed to do. So Jigsaw's gonna run it down mid, gets a lot of damage onto Tyrant, actually takes Tyrant out, but as Livy's able to survive and hold the control here on this left side. And again, that is kind of why BB's so good. BB can kind of just run through the likes of M and Rico so here we go Jigsaw is going to go down we actually waste the primo jump which was quite crucial uh it could be a free kill later on but Tyrant gets a nice sneak kill onto Falcon also doing a lot of damage to RC now Zuan is on to the safe getting some damage he decides to back up which is a, probably a smart choice gets a little bit more damage onto Jigsaw charging back his super and again this is pretty a back and forth game you can see Tyrant going for a lot of damage here he does so much damage onto the safe that was about 20 percent just as an M's, which is kind of crazy. Zulon's gonna go jump in on the other side of the screen. He gets quite a bit more damage, and we're looking really good inside of this game. I think we're up by about my math, math, 35%. Yes? No? I don't know. Doesn't even matter. I'm gonna stop trying to do math inside these videos, and uh, we're looking good. I mean, as long as we don't lose full control, you can see Jigsaw's doing a lot of work. We're able to get that kill, which was huge. If Jigsaw gets the double, I think we just lose right there. Uh, now, as Livy's trying to take out the clone, they do equalize the damage very, very quickly. We're up by 1% at the moment. Tyrant gets a beautiful sneak kill onto Falcon, and then also gets RC right after. So this is pretty easily defendable for the likes of his Livy and Zulan. Maybe... Uh, uh, I told Zuan to kind of ignore. Maybe it was a mistake for me, but it doesn't really matter. We're just about to jump in here. He actually goes for Barley. Uh, could have went for the safe, could have went for Barley. Either or, it doesn't really matter. We do end up winning this game. Actually gets a little bit dicey. If they were able to defend right here, which they were, they had one more push, but it was just not enough time. So very close game, actually, uh, in that first one. We were able to win, 
Let's hop into the next one. All right, game number two, and they decided to switch things up. They went BD onto Primo. We were able to get that kill, though, right away. However, on the likes of this right side, Falcon's going to go in the open, which was really smart as a Lola. RC's able to kind of sneak onto Tyrant, and they are going to get a ton of damage. Jigsaw's already back on the map. Very fast brawler being BB. Zulon goes down, and at this point, is Livy kind of ignored, which I'm not sure is the right play, just because we need his Livy on defense. And you can see we are down 14 percent 10 8 percent to 83 and it's not looking good for us honestly i thought at this point we might have to just chalk this game and go to the next however obviously you can come back and win we do have to hold control though and you can see it's going to be pretty difficult so zulon's going to go for the likes of the barley he does go and jump in probably should have saved a jump at that point just because we need it for a kill later on however he gets a little bit more damage so not the end of the world tyrant's going to go down to the lola clone pretty difficult zulon's trying to tank all the lola damage because we're at two percent at this point and now a bb bubble will just win the game and bb is literally one shot away we knew this and so tyrant's gonna be able to sneak up to the mid he's gonna get some more damage we're getting a little bit closer but 44 percent is still so much damage left to go we're gonna slow the bb because that is our main target however tyrant unfortunately goes down and uh, at this point zuan needs to make the play there's nothing else we can do and the bb bubble missed the second time around tyrant tanks to lola damage and we're able to get a kill onto rc here with a beautiful bounce from rico with 26 percent left on the save we knew we could come back at this point tyrant's gonna get a nice super onto bb again making sure we do not let bb get a single swing there comes the primo jump there comes the m's damage and we make the craziest comeback in a long time we were able to win the hot potato set all right here we go a second set on hard rock mind now the bands are gonna be ruffs janet carl janet sprout and bonnie now honestly all very good bands sprout being a good band because we could last big sprout into their comp which would be a little bit difficult for them uh bonnie great brawler janet great brawler carl is one of the best brawlers and ruffs is just such a good first pick in our opinion so we banned it but either way they lock in a rico and uh honestly there's not that many good brawlers versus rico left inside the map so we locked in a stew 8-bit which is just super well balanced and it is really hard to counter so as you can see they went bell uh leon and it's not really a counter bell's obviously pretty good into 8-bit but at the end of the day we're still very comfortable with this draft and we do have last pick scenario so we can go whatever we want here we were deciding between a lot of options here we could have went tank we could have went a lot of things but we decided to go squeak i believe just because again as livy is one of the best squeaks in the world as well as it's pretty solid versus the likes of uh, uh rico and bell and it's like iffy versus Leon. Once Leon gets invis, it's not great. But however, it's really good versus Leon before that. So I don't know. We just knew that his Livy's really good at Squeak and we can make this work for sure. So let's hop into the game and let's see how it played out. All right, here we go. Hopping into the first game. And again, one of the main reasons you pick Stu with 8-bit is for this speed zoner turret. As you can see right off the bat, we are giving Tyrant speed to help him compete versus the Bell mid, which is a tough matchup as is. So the speed helps quite a bit with that. Now, Zuan is going to be doing a fantastic job on this left side basically all he has to do is try not to die but also be a super annoying brawler as you can see he's dashing between rc and jig and they're not able to take him out until a very long time uh, but Falcon did a great job at the start of the game. I don't know if you saw it. Falcon was able to kill his Livy, kind of causing a lot of problems on this right side early, which is not good in our favor whatsoever, because once Leon gets in Viz, it becomes even more difficult for his Livy to win his matchup. So if he start, good start on the left, bad start on the right. But at the end of the day, we are up by one gem. I believe Tyrant now has turret. So at this point, we're looking pretty good. He's also able to steal that gem. And again, if you're paying attention in gem grab, one of the biggest things is if you're able to steal gems on the other other side of the map it's huge so we get that kill onto falcon but jigsaw unfortunately is in our base being super super annoying rico in your base is one of the worst things to have inside of this map so we got to get rico out as well as we got to kind of lock down this right side uh, and zuan's going to do a great job he's trying to get do his best to dodge out rc uh, as well as dodging out jig and uh, at this point good pinch between his livy and zuan able to get that kill and you can even see zuan's gonna last a very long time up here actually i think he even gets rc but he's not gonna be able to get out we do start the countdown again i'm spoiling a little bit too much uh but you can kind of tell he's probably not going to be able to get out uh but we're at eight gems to nothing so again falcon's doing a great job on the other side of the map basically basically doing exactly what zuan was doing 
uh, kind of saves the game for them, honestly. And at this point, it looks really, really bad. They're able to grab our gems. They're getting out of the map as Livy hits a beautiful couple shots. Also slows Jigsaw, gets the kill on Jig, and we're able to save that game. So as Livy, huge plays uh, and uh, kind of clutches up that game right there. We get the 10 gems. We have the countdown, but nobody can die at this point. So we have to be a little bit careful. Huge kill onto RC as they're pushing inside the map. Jigsaw super, very care. <laughs> Got to be very careful as Livy's up the map versus an Invis Leon. We're able to get that win, but just barely because that one was a super close game. All right, here we go. The second game, and we're hoping that the same start kind of happens on the left side. But as Livy knew, knew, knows at least to be a little bit more cautious on this right side so he doesn't get pushed up on by the Leon. So a little bit better start from all of us this time around. Again, Tyrant's just basically trying to get turret. Zuan's being a menace, dashing around like crazy. Does go down, but that is kind of to be expected as you're going versus basically the Bell and the Rico. And Rico is probably the best lane inside this map ever. So, uh... Yeah, so Tyrant gets turret, which is huge. Also is marked, which is a little bit unfortunate. However, at the end of the day, Tyrant has TPs. So he knows if he ever gets low, just TP out. And he's doing a fantastic job at that. So he picks up the fourth gem. And uh, we're looking really good. Even though it's kind of tied in gems right now, Zuan's kind of up the map. We have his Livy just chilling, waiting for Rico to kind of pop out. Tyrant's got turret. He's getting tapped up by Bell. But again, that is to be expected. Bell should be the one hitting most of the shots inside the mid. But again, he can also just grab these gems, TP out, and there we go. We stole two gems on their side, and now it is a 7-3 to three score line in gems. So as long as we don't die, all die to this Rico super, we should be fine. Again, Rico being super annoying, able to survive on 160 HP, which again, very tough for Squeak to deal with. But Zuan's doing a fantastic job inside of their base. Gets a kill onto Falcon. Tyrant's probably going to have to TP out. He does. Grabs one more gem before that. And uh, we're also actually able to clean up the Rico kill as well. And uh, I don't even know how Tyrant didn't trigger that mine. That was kind of crazy. I thought he stepped right on top of it. But uh, either way, we get a kill onto Falcon. Got a TP out of the Rico super. But we have no more TPs left. So... At this point, we just need one gem. The next one is spawning on our side, uh, but he actually doesn't even care. Tyrant just goes for it, grabs the gem on their side, starts the countdown, and uh, with RC going down right about now, it is looking very, very unlikely that they're going to be able to come back. I mean, that's game over right there. Tyrant gets the final kill onto Falcon. We move past the first round. We get 2-0, and there you guys have it. We beat Obey Alliance 2-0 in the quarterfinals, moving on to the semifinals where we're going to face Avatra, which ended up being a very, very close series. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you like, make sure you comment down below and subscribe because we're getting very close to 30k and we have probably something wink wink nudge nudge planned for you guys for 30k so i hope you guys do hit that sub button but either way hope to see you in the next video peace